Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we thought we would go in and get a bottle out of my uh, storage room, something that we haven't done yet. Uh, and Matt decided uh, the Thomas Handy Rye. He's yeah. never tried it. Never tried it. This is a fairly old bottle. Can't really tell from the, yeah, the label right there. It's a little washed out, but yeah. Because yeah. oh. the, the bottle was empty. <laughs> empty. <laughs> Must be pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, now well, the cork broke. Another good reason why you should put your good whiskey in a screw cap bottle. <laughs> so, when the cork breaks, the way to do it is to take your pocket knife and just work around the outer edge of the work around the outer edge Yeah, I did get, drop a little cork in it though. But with the cork being broke on this, we're going to have to drink this here. Oh, bummer. <laughs> See, you've always been an advocate of, of screw tops. Yeah. And this is part of the reason, right? Is that the main reason for it, or is it. It's does it keep one, it fresher, do you think? I think it keeps it fresher. Mm hmm. I okay, don't have. That cork breaking and you don't have to worry about it at all. You just no. screw it and you're good to go. That's right. You have to decant that off into a bottle somewhere. And... But... Yeah. Anyway, so this is a Thomas Handy. It's 67.4% uh, alcohol, 134.8 proof. It's high proof. Uh, uncut, unfiltered. This whiskey has probably been in the bottle for at least 10 years. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, it's a very high proof. You can't, it's not overpowering though. No, but you get definitely you get that rye grass. It's probably mm -hmm. five, six year old rye whiskey. Mm hmm. Smells nice. Maybe seven or eight at the most, I would say. You get that right. I mean, you look at that color, it's it's an amber color, but it's just you know, maybe eight years old. Yeah. You know, for this maybe. high proof, unfiltered. But yeah, you definitely get... I get like rye, get some cherries in there. For me. Cherries, I always get peaches. Peaches? Mm-hmm. A little cinnamon, mm -hmm. a little oak. It smells great. I mean, <laughs> as, as it's opening up, it is. Yeah. Wow. So let's take a sip. Definitely peaches. Definitely peaches, yeah. And peaches cinnamon. From the taste. Peaches, cinnamon, ryegrass, a little caramel. Caramel. There's a, yeah. The finish has definitely got that peaches and it's like peach cobbler. Yeah. Mm hmm So let's try. It's it a little hot, it. a little spicy. Yeah, a little spicy. Let's I like try that it with though. A, try the dried cranberry. Cran you get just like more of that that caramel caramel rye grass you, you lose some of the peach you do lose a little bit of the peach there yeah um, but you get that cinnamon 
it's maybe, yeah, cinnamon a little, maybe a little nutmeg too yeah it gets really spicy with the mm-hmm. crayon um yeah uh almost almost too hot with the crayon for me it's pretty spicy yeah i like it but yeah it's borderline <laughs> Try it with a pecan. That's really good. Yeah, that definitely brings out a little bit of a peach cobbler. Uh, uh, yeah, peach cobbler all over, and that cinnamon Actually, really comes through for me. Um, the cinnamon's there, but not as strong as it was with the mm-hmm. with the cranberry. It's very good. Uh, yeah, it works really well with that pecan. Yeah. Yeah. Let's cleanse our palate and try it for a piece of chocolate. It's like all peach. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying it's almost like a peach brandy. Yeah, peach brandy. That yeah, you're absolutely right there. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I'm getting. Yeah. Good aged peach brandy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could I could do that all day long. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really good with the chocolate, I think. Now, uh says right, do they do they still make a Thomas handy or Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of their antique collection theories. So, you know, trying to find it's like Pulling ten teeth, ten teeth, you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just almost impossible. Yeah. Wow. How much do they produce of that stuff? Why is it? Why is it so hard to get? Is it just? They only release it once a year. Right. Right around Christmas time. Mm-hmm. And you know, they want to keep it hard to get. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen aftermarket for stuff like the Thomas Handy. I mean, we're talking what thousands of dollars, right? Yeah, yeah. All that in that in that collection is it's the price. The secondary market prices are just out of this world, right? right and, now. and trying to get a bottle, you know, at retail price is almost impossible. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, it is. It's really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good whiskey. It really is. I have no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's why I've never got a more recent bottle than this. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm exactly. not gonna. I'm not gonna camp out all night to get a bottle of whiskey. Right. For or get a chance to get a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. So, but, but still good stuff there. That's really good stuff. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how you open a cork. That's, That's how you open the pork. It's if, if it's if it's broken down. Um, yeah, so there you go. Learn something. Today. Yeah. So, cheers, Thomas Handy. Good whiskey. Hard to find, but good whiskey.